Yo Aguan, hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the best song setup audio settings for Studio One for recording a song, for recording vocals especially. So if you're interested in that, if you're interested in recording your own song, you're interested in recording vocals in Studio One, this is the video for you. Now, if you don't know who I am, I'm Jay Carter Ray from jaycarterray.com teaching you how to be better at music, online business and online marketing. This is the number one spot for musicians and creatives that don't want to be starving artists. So if that sounds like you, click on that subscribe button, check out the rest of the content on the channel because you will love it here, guaranteed. Now let's get straight into this, shall we? Now, honestly, I played around with a few different settings in my new song settings list, basically. But first of all, I use my vocal mixing template every single time my Spotify ready vocal mixing template. That is the correct one. Link down below if you wanna grab that. I do have a Studio One version out now, right about now. So first of all, you wanna name your song, otherwise you'll just have a date and then the artist name, which is kind of hard to actually find your song at times. But we're gonna get into the actual settings, which is the most important part. But first of all, you know, organization is very important. So get that done. Now, sample rate, I leave it at 44.1, which is basically CD quality. Now, I have thought about raising this to 48 kilohertz, but I don't think there's really any need. I've done some research and it doesn't seem like there's any real benefit to doing that. I'd say 44.1 and 48 should be the only ones that you really change this to anymore and you're kind of just going overkill for the sake of it. So 44.1 for me, that's what I go for. Resolution, 24 bit, definitely you don't want to go 16 bit, that's too low. And 32 bit flow, basically don't really need to do that either, okay? 24 bit is perfect enough for me because I'll export my WAVs in 24 bit as well. Time base, I went on bars so I can basically have the bars at the top and if you set your tempo right, it'll be very, very easy for you to copy and paste choruses and what have you throughout your song okay song length you want to set this according to the beat you're using if you're planning to produce something from the ground up in studio one then i'd say set this to an estimation of how long you think your song's going to be i'd say it to like three minutes three minutes 30 or something but you can always change this down the line i believe i've already created a video on my channel which shows you how to change your song length in studio one so just check that out tempo same thing you want to set this based on the beat that you're using. However, if you're creating your own beat from scratch or you don't know the tempo of the beat right now, you can set this to whatever. And before you start recording, preferably change the tempo to the right tempo. Time signature, same thing. Key signature, same thing. Although this really doesn't make any difference whatsoever. But I do think that this will help in terms of organization. So for example, if you set the correct key signature, I'm not sure of how you'd search for your song via key signature. Maybe it shows up at the top or something, but I've never actually changed the key signature. So that's not really important. Time signature is usually gonna be 4-4 four, four for most modern music. If it's out of 4-4, four, four, then you're doing some avant-garde weird stuff, which is, you know, good for you. Stretch audio files to song tempo. This is what you wanna select. If you are going to be using samples at all, you wanna select this. However, if you're not gonna be using samples, then you really don't need to stretch audio files to song tempo because your beat's already gonna be at the right tempo. You just need to select the right tempo for that. And if you set the wrong tempo and you want to change it to the right tempo, tempo after, you need this to be unchecked. Otherwise, all the vocal recordings that you've created will now be stretched and they'll sound weird and they'll sound terrible, really. So you can unselect this, really, unless you're gonna be using samples. If you're gonna be using samples, you really do wanna select this because that's gonna help you with your sampled usage. Play overlaps, I always have this unchecked, honestly, 
don't even know what it means. <laughs> don't even know what it does. Basically, I haven't really looked into that. But I just leave it unchecked. And these settings have gotten me many great results. You can check out my songs on jcartaray.com forward slash Spotify. I think I started using Studio One from Money In My Sleep and 2017, those two songs. So moving forward, 2017, Money In My Sleep and all songs after that, I've been recorded in Studio One using this template, using this song setup. So that's everything you need to know to get your song the best quality possible, okay? Now, my question of the day is, what is the song that you're recording going to be about? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you want to mix your vocals in half the time, if you want your vocals 50% mixed before you even get to the mixing stage, go and grab my Spotify ready vocal mixing template. The link is in the description down below. I have just recently released my Studio One version, but it also comes with a PDF where I walk through all my settings. So whether you've got the same plugins I have or not, you can use the PDF, which is honestly is worth more than the template or worth the same amount as the template. And you can use that to basically enter the settings that you need and save your template with your own plugins. But the great thing about this is as soon as you load it up, if you've got the same plugins, your track is half mixed already. If you don't have the same plugins, obviously you've got to use the PDF to, you know, create the same aspect and create the same settings, then save that as a template. And then every song after that, you've got set up already ready without much mixing for you to do. Your vocals will sound Spotify ready, clean as hell and ready to go, okay? So to grab that, go to jcartaray.com forward slash vocal templates. Link will also be in the description. And if you've got any questions you want me to answer or any tutorials you want me to make, please leave those in the comment section down below. And I'll see you in the next video where you'll learn more about music, online business, and online marketing. I'll see you there. Peace out.